got the uh, car trailer hooked up to the back of the Tahoe. I've got my uh, go jacks from my other truck that I kept on the back here. This uh, trailer is outfitted with a 10,000 pound power winch. It's hooked up to its own power supply that gets a trickle charge when it's plugged into the Tahoe. Double axle trailer. Got a couple of ramps that slide out of this side right here. Go on the back. And I've got the cable for the winch as well as a uh, snatch block that you can use for being able to manipulate which way the cable's pulling. That way if I need to I can drag a vehicle up onto the trailer and then also if I need to I can use a snatch block and then pull and drag the vehicle back off the trailer when we don't have keys. But uh, I've got a uh, 97 Camaro rear wheel drive. It has a GPS device on it that uh, is not working. Last two times we repossessed it GPS device was working and this third time now it is not working but we uh, got a new address for where it would possibly be located and I went and checked it and it's there it's behind a small apartment complex over here in Provo not too far from here and uh, it's a very tight spot that it's pulled into it actually be a very easy repossession with my self loader be able to back right down in there and pick it up from the rear end because it is rear wheel drive and pull it right out and be, it's, it's just a straightforward straight shot easy repo with a repo truck but uh, it's gonna be what, rather difficult with this trailer for one because of how long the trailer is and two because I am gonna have to uh, deal with the rear tires which are the drive tires being locked in gear I'm gonna take a look and see if there's the possibility of getting the uh, vehicle into neutral somehow without the keys but before I do that I've got to first get up there and kind of do a walk around one more time and figure out the best way to position the trailer and get in there that's the reason I've got the go jacks on here is because I may end up putting the go jacks on the rear tires and pushing the Camaro out of its parking stall and turning it at an angle so that I have more of a straight shot to the rear end of it but I still have to manipulate this trailer down a narrow driveway and around behind this small fourplex building and uh, that part I think I can handle pretty easily but then from there, without the go jacks, I would have to then make another 90 degree angle pitch to, up to the back of the Camaro and get it pretty much straight on to be able to drag it up onto the trailer straight with the winch. And I don't think I'm going to have enough room to be able to pitch it with this setup that I've got here. There's just not enough room between the row of cars and the back side of the building. So what I'm going to look at is my options for parking the Tahoe and what's going to work the best with this scenario before I get started because if I get in the middle of this and they come out and there's contact I want to be in a position to where I can you know control the scene and make it to where they don't you know have the opportunity to be able to get into the vehicle and take off with it and that's why I'm also going to probably put my steering wheel lock on first and foremost before I do anything else and make sure that that's secured onto the wheel so that worst case scenario they do come out and I'm not in a position where I've got the vehicle either attached to the cable or I've got the vehicle blocked in with the trailer. I don't want them to be able to take off in the Camaro. I do have my own tracking device on it right now. I tagged it when I found it earlier this evening just to make sure that it was still there when we got back. <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be going anywhere this time of the night. But better safe than sorry. It's why we carry those tracking devices around with us so that we can tag vehicles and make sure that they're still going to be where we found them. But a couple different options, a couple different techniques I'm going to need to use tonight to do this smart and 
do it safe and keep from doing any causing any you know damage to the vehicle and uh, getting it up onto the trailer safely another concern I have is obviously if I have to drag it up backwards up onto the trailer the nose of the Camaros is low to the ground and it sticks out kind of far and that's one of the issues we deal with when we pick vehicles like that up from the rear is you don't want to pitch them up too high because you can drag the nose of those and bust up the plastic pretty easily so it's one thing I like about this trailer that I borrowed from Will is it's low to the ground and has low ground clearance and with the ramps out it's not a very sharp angle it's just just the right amount of an angle that I'm hoping that that uh, Camaro drags up onto that trailer smoothly best case scenario would be uh, to get hooked to the vehicle and get it in a position where I'm ready to drag it up on the vehicle and the people come out and make contact and I'm able to get keys obviously because then I could start the vehicle up and just drive it up onto the trailer second best case scenario to that would be if I can find a way to get the vehicle into neutral and then it just rolls smoothly up onto the trailer uh, without having to do the dragging so we'll see which way this goes but we're gonna first park the Tahoe and the trailer out on the main street and I'm gonna do a walk around that'll be the next video segment we show and I'll make my final decision on how I'm gonna attack and execute this repossession again <laughs> would be just totally easy if I had the truck right now but I don't have access to it and Will was only able to help me for so many hours today before he had to take off and go do his own thing he'll be available again Friday morning to help me on some more repos but between now and then it's the Tahoe and this trailer with this wench I'm gonna operate until we can get the uh, get a new engine put into the Ninja I did want to look at was coming through here back in the trailer over this little berm here down this even grate here gives me more of a straight-on shot to the rear of the vehicle I actually think I could make that That's our vehicle right there. If I put the go jacks on it, I could go jack it out to where the butt end was right here and straight. Then I've got to manipulate. Down this steep driveway here, I gotta make this corner, that big trailer. We've got one unit right here on the bottom that's got the window open, an air conditioning unit blowing into it. So that unit's making a lot of noise in that window right there so whoever's inside there is not going to hear a lot going on out here we're not sure which unit they're in matter of fact I'm going to go to the front and identify the numbers and figure out which unit they are in so if I see someone looking out that window we'll know which one it is basically the unit that's right behind the vehicle so if we did come from that side it's a good chance that that back bedroom window they would hear us but by the time they heard us I'd be coming up over that berm slowly down that gradient 
I think I could get a pretty straight shot to the rear of the vehicle from that angle and I wouldn't have to use the go jacks and I wouldn't have to manipulate this corner right here and then once I had the vehicle up on the trailer going back up that way and out it's gonna be a pretty straight shot I think I'm gonna walk it one more time drag this thing. I'm worried about the overhang. The front nose of this thing. It's got a lot of overhang. I don't know if I open this thing up if uh, factory alarm is going to go off or not on it either. I know we want to be backed up to it before we try anything like that. First thing I want to do is I want to get down in here and get the trailer blocking this thing in. And then try things like opening the door and getting it put into neutral and God, that would be such an easy repo with the truck. I'm gonna come from this way, I don't need to go jack. If I'm gonna come from the other way, I've got my best bets to go jack at first. No easy choice, this is one long trailer. It's not gonna be an easy maneuver. One more option I saw as I was down there is this third driveway over. It's one more complex down. It doesn't have nearly the steep grade. I just don't know if I can make this corner. I was thinking I could come in all the way back down here. No way I'm further away from their building, making it less likely that they're going to hear me. And if I can get that long trailer pitched around this corner, and straightened out. Man, I don't know if I can make that. There's no vehicles in these last spots, which makes, which makes it probable. First vehicle's four spots over. I start pitching it right there tight. Watch this corner. Give me a straight shot straight through here. Start with the go jacks. Go jack the car out. Pitch the nose. And push it as far as I can push it this way. Just this ground, this, this stuff isn't very even. There's a lot of lines in it. This go jack's gonna make a lot of noise as I roll it. gonna go for the driveway number two and just make the corner get it straightened out right here get the go jacks on it pull it out go to work and see what happens I miss my truck
what I was afraid of. I can't roll it. So I'm gonna have to back the trailer up and use the snatch block. Pull the car out. our trailer so that we're right behind the back into the Camaro up underneath the vehicle and thought I'd give it a shot on the transfer case and sure enough there's a linkage pop on these Camaros it popped it right off and felt like it popped right into neutral we'll see what it does yep it's coming Should be. Rolling off. 
And we're finally on the trailer. Hell of freaking Leah. By far, one of the worst experiences I've had in my career, repossessing vehicles, by far. But as you can see, at the end, no matter how long it took, I did prevail by not giving up. A doesn't work, go to option B. Option B doesn't work, go to option C. Option C doesn't work, you know you've got an entire alphabet ahead of you, so you better figure it out, buddy. 